my darlings and all kinds of fish of the world because I'm in Portugal so fish is everywhere you go to uh, any kind of touristic shop there is fish magnets with fish postcards with fish you go to river shore fish people are fishing you go to restaurant there is fish I will go for some fish today later in the evening so I'm walking the streets of Lisbon and I am going to a flea market which happens only one time in a week on Tuesday and luckily it's Tuesday so let's find it and see what is Lisbon's flea market offering by the way I always pass this garden it's like a small inside uh, garden of someone's and it has many very peculiar art objects check it out friend who lives here in Lisbon showed me this um, garden yesterday. It's so cute and pretty. Look at it. Feira da Ladra, here it is, the sign. And there is a beautiful church on the way. Let's see. working and uh, later after flea market we're gonna meet up and go to the Museum of Tiles oh my god three boobs I found three boobs never mind it's like this old movie with Schwarzenegger there was a woman with many boobs something about Mars obviously okay flea market time
area of flea market is really big. Also, I like this map on the wall. It's like a very creative map of Lisbon. So what can you find on the flea market in Lisbon? Almost anything. But the significant things which are very authentic for Portugal are the tiles. You can find a lot of tiles. People sell tiles. And of course things that are made from cork because Portugal produces cork. Oh my god, my hair are everywhere. Museum of Azulejo, the tile museum. Azulejo comes from Arab word meaning Polish stone. It's a squared ceramic piece glazed on one side. Back in time, Arabs brought Azulejo to Portugal to decorate the palaces in their colorful manner. Back then, they didn't know how to mix the colors, keeping the surface flat. That's why on the older tiles dating back to 14th century, one can notice bumps and embossments between different colors. My friend told me that it was Italians who came up with the technique to mix colors in a new way that keeps tiles flat. One can find decorative tiles in many colors, but blue and white are traditionally the colors to tell history, legends and mythology. I loved wandering through colorful fragments from different decades. There is just one thing I could not stop noticing that was bothering me. The faces on the oldest tiles are so freaking ugly. with these creative creature tiles is my favorite. And guess what else I found? Craft of beloved Bordalo Pinero. It's very recognizable as everything he did. museum is about tiles. One can admire this unexpectedly decorated small room in the museum. enjoyed a modern touch on tiles in the end of the museum. But 
I still think the enormous map of Lisbon shown in a blue and white azulejo is the best way to end the walk. Before you walk away, there is a garden here, near the cafe. We are going for dinner and on our way there is this fountain, but there is no uh, light, so you can't really see it well, but it's huge. Hey darlings, it's time for dinner. We came to one place for fish. Uh, my friend has this theory that if the the menu is written with hands, it's the best authentic place. So we ordered some fish, dorada, and so let's wait for it. How do you like the fish here? This is really delicious. Oh my god. I do have potato here, but the fish is super cute and super delicious. Yes. Yummy. It's so good. Yes. Very cute. Look at this. <laughs> so the, the fish was the best dorada I it ever was ate. So it was good. really good. And now we have like a small tradition. We eat some cakes every morning in the for breakfast, some local cakes from local pastries. And now her friend told us that there is a secret place. Bakery. Yes. Secret bakery. They are working 24 hours. Uh, yes. maybe seven days per week yeah but they are hidden so now we are like searching for yeah. it, it we need to go down. down to the basement kind of <laughs> and ask for some cakes <laughs> it sounds so suspicious <laughs> it sounds so cool so let's figure it out yes, we're searching for yeah. secret cakes <laughs> so, so it should be somewhere near the secret place. Yes. Just across the street. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so somewhere here. Maybe in metro? Here, there is nothing. Okay, there is a shop, there is one door, and here also. Maybe this one? No, no. Where is this secret place? Oh, you found it! Oh my god! It's a secret door. And then you go down. Just like he said. I would never guess there is bakery here. But here it is. Fabrica de Pastelaria. Who knew? Taking the tram, the legendary tram of Lisbon.